The first nutcrackers were plain, purely functional devices. By the 15th century, European woodcarvers began crafting beautiful nutcrackers shaped like animals and people. German artisans became known for their majestic nutcracker kings and soldiers, just like the one in Tchaikovsky's famous ballet. This German company has been crafting character nutcrackers since 1928. Like porcelain figurines, these nutcrackers sell as limited edition collectibles. At hundreds of dollars each, people don't actually use them for the intended purpose. But they can and do perform the job. You simply manipulate a lever to open and then close the mouth to crack the nutshell. On the factory floor, they use a multi-blade circular saw to cut all the body parts out of linden wood. Linden is ideal because it's lightweight, easy to carve, and its color is pale enough to mimic skin. These blocks are on their way to becoming nutcracker torsos. First, they go through a planer. It trims the four sides of each block, forming an octagonal shape. From square to octagonal, and next to round. But first, workers use a circular saw to cut the blocks into torso-length pieces. A conveyor feeds the pieces one by one into an automatic multi-station lathe. The first station rounds out the octagon, then forms the basic torso shape. The second station finalizes the shape. Then the next four stations sand the wood smooth so that the wood stain they'll apply later on will penetrate well and evenly. Then the torsos go three at a time into a vertical router. It cuts a notch in each one for the lever that opens and closes the nutcracker's mouth. Next stop is a drilling machine, which simultaneously drills all the holes required to attach the body parts, as well as the lever's axle. Now they dress the torso in a coat, which they create simply by staining the wood a dark color. Once the stain dries, they spray on two coats of semi-gloss lacquer. Every nutcracker stands on a wooden base, under which they burn the company's logo. It's a mark of authenticity for collectors. The automatic lathe also shapes the other body parts, including the head. Workers attach a nose, then, using a router, cut holes for the eyes. Then they lightly spray on a touch of red paint, to simulate a sun-kissed nose and rosy cheeks. Then with a steady hand, they paint the whites of the eyes. And the eyebrows. Once the paint dries, they apply some glue to the center of each eye, then affix an iris and pupil made of enameled tin. Now they align the head with the torso and screw the parts together. After decorating the coat with buttons and a buckle, they glue a strip of rabbit fur hair to the head. A rabbit fur beard to camouflage the notch for the lever. Then they mount the torso onto the legs, which wear painted on boots, and stand on the base. Then this nutcracker percussionist gets his drum, along with arms and drumsticks. They top him off with a hat made of spray-painted wood. Most of the nutcracker's parts join together with wooden dowels. A large dowel running across the notch in the torso is the axle on which the lever rotates. This extensive cast of Nutcracker characters comes in various sizes, and you can even special order a life-sized version. 